As Amazon sellers, we all know that the seller-buyer interaction is quite restricted in running any type of marketing promotion, especially ones that ask the customer to purchase off of Amazon is a huge non-starter. Also, Amazon will not allow you to collect any customer information, making non-advertising remarketing campaign next to impossible. But that has changed somewhat with the new Amazon customer engagement features under the brand tool suite. So if you actually want to learn how you could actually create email marketing campaigns for your previous Amazon customer, Stay tuned. I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and also the marketing manager here at Landing Cube. And if you are interested in content such as this one, where we would geek out on Amazon, I would invite you to subscribe. Okay, in the online business, there's this old saying that money is made in the email list. That is fundamentally very correct. That includes in the Amazon selling space as well. We have seen a lot of successful sellers become even more successful as they collect more and more emails. If they have a direct line of communication, aka an email, from a previous customer, it allows them to do one of three things. One, launch a new product. Two, generate additional reviews. And three, also allow them to re-rank their existing products using any promotion that they can use for that re-rank campaign. But unfortunately on Amazon, you cannot create marketing campaigns directly. But what you can do is to create a customer engagement campaign that allows you to create an email marketing campaign within the Amazon platform itself for different types of audience that had engaged with your brand in the past. So let's get right into how we actually do it. Okay, on the Seller Central platform, uh, we are gonna go to under brand and we are gonna pick customer engagement. And before I go go into the actual screen itself, I just want to mention that this particular um, feature or the tools under the brand features requires you to be brand registered. So that means that you have to register your logo or trademark with uh, intellectual property uh, agents in your whatever um, whatever country that you're registered with. Uh, for US, that would be USPTO. And a lot of times it could take up to six months. So uh, if anyone haven't got their brand registered, uh, please allocate that uh, length of time if you want to actually use the brand functions. Okay, so let's go into the customer engagement. Okay, once we get into the actual um, customer engagement, um, screen, we can see like, you know, all the previous metrics that uh, you have created, all the uh, campaigns that you have created previously. I, cr I tried this once before. It didn't work out too well. I think I did this when it was very early on. And I think I didn't really select the right product. So you can see my open rate is like zero and email delivery zero. So I'm going to actually try it again. I, you know, I really should have done this a bit more, um, you know, test the feature a little more, but you know, better late than never. So I'm going to create a new campaign on the fly. Uh, and I will try to do it on a monthly basis at the very least. And if I, you know, see any um, additional results or basically a best practice of doing this, I'll also create like a follow up video on the results and potential best practices. So um, if you want to see uh, the result of these campaign, uh, make sure to subscribe. Um, okay. So how you do this? You can select a brand. Okay. So you select your brand and then, um, there's two campaigns that you could actually uh, use for these, for the customer engagement features. One is market uh, product. So this would be allow you to highlight five products in your email campaign and promote a promotion. So basically if you have any special promotion that's going on, you can actually promote it. For example, recently it would be Father's Day or it could be like a Cyber Monday promotion or like a Black Friday promotion, right? These special promotions you could promote using uh, this feature as well. So for me, I don't have any special uh, promotion going on. So I'm gonna do market, uh, market a product which I think would be a very good one to use if you're actually launching a new product. And then there's um, four um, potential audience type that I could choose, but right now I can only choose the brand followers, right? Uh, these ones, it says that I'm not currently eligible. So let's check the eligibility requirements for these audience. So that would be here. So you can see like to be um, eligible for these tailored audience, you need to see send at least 10 or more customer engagement campaigns with at least a thousand total emails sent over the last 10 campaigns. So for me, uh, yeah, I need to actually create like at least, at the very least, 10 of these campaigns before I have the uh, av availability of these other audiences. So let's just select um, the brand followers for now. So I'm pretty sure like audience that's watching this video uh, is probably one that is like kind of new to this feature and probably would also have like the same uh, selection type that I see right now. So let's go to next. Okay, so the ASIN that we're going to use is this product right here. Um, 
right? And then submit. Okay, so I select this product and then add product. Again, you could also uh, add up to five, right? You could add like multiple ASINs. So supporting ASIN, I'm guessing uh, that is like a four additional ASIN that you can add. Let's just, just do this like particular product for now. Okay, so the next part, you're going to select uh, all image or subject approval. So what, so, okay, I'm going to select this one right here. That's my main image. And then uh, the next delivery campaign window. And then that would be this one right here. I'm going to say uh, the earliest I could do. So today is like the fourth. Um, I guess like the only ones I could send is like 10. So I'm going to select the 10th. And then uh, campaign title. Again, this is not the title of the, the subject header of your email campaign. This is just for you only. So July 4th, um, marketing products. And then your email subject. Okay, so it's... Um, it's basically predefined. Uh, you can only select like what are the two template ones that they uh, have allowed you to chosen. So that would be the first one right here. And it's like, so in my experience, um, having some personalization in the email or subject line helps. So I'm going to use like the customer name, and then new product alert. And then I have the brand logo right here. Okay, so I have my uh, brand logo right here. It's already added automatically. So that's also a section header um, product for you. So recommended for you. So I'm going to choose this one. And then you can also pre uh, preview the email to see how actually your email would look like to the um, to the customer. So let's see how it looks like. Yep, it looks like this. Looks pretty good actually. Not doesn't look too bad. Okay, yeah. So I think I'm good with it. So we are just gonna click start campaign. There you go. So it's gonna say it's in moderation, and then once it's moderated, right, it will be sent. And after it's sent, uh, after a few days, it should give you the open rate, uh, number of email delivered, and also any sales that comes from this campaign. Okay, I'm gonna just cancel it. Okay, so that's really how you could create an email campaign within Amazon. Again, uh, as you can see, I only used this uh, once before. I haven't used this function as much as I should myself, uh, but it is easy and a free way to really get some additional exposure to the relevant audience. I believe it could work well in situations where number one, you're launching a new product, and number two, you have some special promo coming up, such as, as I mentioned, Cyber Monday or Prime Day that's coming up next month. Lastly, to end this video off, if you're looking to actually collect emails, to build your audience off of Amazon. Check out Landing Queue. We are an Amazon selling specific landing page builder for your off Amazon marketing, such as Google, Facebook, TikTok ads, and also Reddit ads. It also acts as a funnel for your product inserts as well. Sign up now for a 21 day trial in the link below. And until the next video drop, happy selling.